Hello everyone, I recently bought an uh, IBM 5150 and uh, before actually uh, turning it on I decided to take a look at the power supply and make sure uh, it works and there are no uh, currents that may destroy or break the boards. So what I have here is the power supply uh, taken out from the 5150 uh, you can see here the power on I've already removed the screws because uh, there is actually something wrong but not uh, very wrong uh, you see here the connectors for the motherboard the P8 and P9 connectors and uh, also the these connectors for uh, drives and so on. Uh, also, an uh, IBM 5150 power supply needs a load in order to start. So, uh, what I have here is a floppy drive. You can see it. And uh, I've actually uh, connected the power supply here to the floppy drive. Okay, so uh, in theory this should provide enough load uh, for the power supply to turn on. So uh, I have it already plugged, so you can see here it's plugged. Uh, so I'm going to try and turn it on and uh, in theory you should see this uh, fan here starting to turn, which usually means uh, the power supply is uh, working okay so let's see so I don't know if you noticed it tried to move but it stopped instantly let's do that again okay and that's it uh, nothing else okay so usually this means uh, there is something wrong with uh, the power supply so uh, what uh, you should do uh, usually is just unplug it so you really should make sure it's unplugged okay and uh, take a look inside as i already mentioned it's uh, the screws were removed and uh, if you look closely in here uh, first of all uh, one thing to notice is that this part here is actually uh, directly uh, connected to the outside so that's why you should always uh, make sure it's uh, unplugged uh, there may also be some residual charge in the capacitors so uh, please be careful what you're going to touch but uh, anyway just looking uh, at it there doesn't seem to be anything uh, obviously wrong of course uh, one of the capacitors may have failed or there may be something else but uh, what I decided to do uh, instead of trying to investigate each uh, component individually uh, I decided to first uh, measure uh, the actual uh, voltages that were uh, present on the wires so let's do that together i'm going to plug it back in okay let's turn it on and now uh, i have a voltmeter here and uh, we are supposed to have uh, 5 volts or 12 volts so uh, let's see I'm uh, going to start with uh, this connector for, similar to the one inserted in the floppy drive so the black wire should be ground and uh, the red wire should be uh, 5 volts so let's see and uh, yes it is uh, 5 volts indeed I hope you can see it, so maybe I should turn this like this, okay? 
So it's uh, 5 volts, it's uh, working as it's supposed to be. Uh, let's see the yellow wire. Okay, so this one uh, should be uh, 12 volts, it's actually more like 11 volts, but still it should be fine. Uh, I have uh, a video uh, with uh, a modern power supply, uh, there was also a difference of 1 volt, but still it works okay in, the, in an actual computer. And this may also be uh, just because of the load that I placed here. So let's try to uh, investigate this cable that goes to the motherboard. Uh, so we have here um, the P8 connector. This is the P8 connector. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is a bit tricky because uh, my probe uh, does not fit in here. So instead I'm going to use a uh, wire to uh, place it in here and then uh, place the probe. So I'm going to get a wire. So here I have two wires, I'm just going to insert this black wire here, corresponding to the black connection, and then this red wire here, corresponding to the blue one. Okay, and uh, obviously this would go much easier if uh, I would use some tape to glue the wires to the probes but anyway so we have here minus 11 volts which is okay uh, then we have a uh, yellow wire hope you can see it okay so we have plus 11 volts okay uh, we have here a missing wire so the last one it's an orange wire and we have here five volts so the p8 connector seems to be in order okay let's move on to the p9 connector okay so again we have here ground the black wires Uh, so there are again two black wires as you can see both in P8 and P9 there are two ground wires and in the P9 uh, we have first a white wire here and we have minus 5.6 volts so it should be minus 5 that's okay uh, and let's see the red wires we have three red wires so we have plus 5 volts and this should be the same on all three wires yes and the last one So it's okay. So uh, what we can conclude from this uh, experience is that actually uh, there is nothing wrong with the power supply itself, but it's probably something wrong just with the uh, fan here. So uh, obviously what uh, should be done is to remove uh, this fan and uh, replace it. Uh, actually prior to recording this video I also tried uh, applying some uh, lubricant to it and uh, no it doesn't work so it really needs to be uh, changed. Uh, so uh, how to do that? Well uh, first power off, second remember to remove uh, the external power connection then 
open the power supply. It had a number of uh, screws here and on the side. Uh, take care when removing this cover because the fan is actually uh, connected with uh, this wire. Okay, so I'm going to remove it. As I previously said, uh, make sure you don't touch uh, anything that may have a residual charge. So, um, okay, this is the part that we are currently interested in. So, I will try to make some space here. So, the first thing, uh, we should remove these four screws. Okay, so there it is, it's uh, in this case uh, 12 volts, uh, fan, uh, DC, so direct current, and as you can see it has uh, this connector with two wires, with this particular ending, which uh, obviously goes uh, to the power supply. So what we need uh, is to get similar one. It's eight centimeters across. So um, let's see if we can find uh, something like this. So I have this fan. It's uh, 12 volts uh, DC. Uh, it's uh, eight centimeters across so yeah so it should be uh, the same okay uh, the only problems because there are two problems is one the connector as you can see it's uh, indeed two wires but we have this version here instead of this one and there is a second issue uh, the screws connecting the fan to the uh, housing of the power supply uh, because uh, these screws actually do not fit in here however if uh, we examine this one closer uh, we notice it has these things for the screws. So uh, the first thing is remove these ones and place them on the new on the new fan. And now let's see. Now uh, indeed we can use uh, the existing screws. So I will do this with all four Okay, so there it is, the first problem is fixed and uh, now uh, we need uh, to take care of this connector and uh, I decided I will simply uh, cut off this wire here 
and cut off this wire here and connect them and uh, hopefully this will solve the second problem as well so uh, I will do that and um, I will pause the recording for now okay so I already cut the wires and connected the new fan you can see here uh, I uh, also use some uh, tape uh, to make sure they remain uh, uh, like this and I don't accidentally pull on them so I also connected the fan here on the power supply so let's see if uh, it will actually uh, turn So just make sure you don't uh, accidentally cut the fan from the, the wire from the fan when you place the lid. So I will uh, plug this power supply. Okay, let's turn it on. And yes, now it turns. Uh, we already know uh, the voltage on the wires. So I think now it's uh, ready to go back in the computer and uh, hopefully it will uh, start and work. So thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you next time.